it came almost out of the blue, but home buyers tonight stand to benefit from the lowest interest rates in Australian history. The Reserve Bank dropped the cash rate to 2.75%, giving the economy some much needed breathing space against a backdrop of sluggish retail sales and low consumer confidence. At the Springfield shops this afternoon, it didn't take long for word to spread. Oh, it's great. <laughs> The rate cut means a person with a $200,000 mortgage will save around $31 a month. A $300,000 mortgage, it's $47 a month. And a half a million dollar mortgage will be cut by $77 a month. With two daughters and a mortgage at Bellbird Park, for Evelyn Ray it means more money for essentials. That's really, really going to help with um, our weekly budget, our... Um groceries and electricity and all of that sort of stuff. Levels. How tight have things been? Very tight. This will be an interest rate cut which is going to be welcomed by families and by small businesses and I certainly think it's an interest rate cut that they thoroughly deserve. Good for families but a consequence of a rapidly cooling economy. We've got a government in chaos but we've got a reserve bank that is prepared to step up to the mark and try and provide some economic leadership. The RBA's official reason? To create sustainable growth in the economy consistent with achieving the inflation target. In other words, prices and the economy are growing too slowly. So I think the evidence is already quite clear that the economy needs more stimulus. There's no argument from Greg Dodge in his West End gift shop. I get a sense that there's a lot of caution out there and a lot of people are sort of saying, gee, it's tough. Tough times that many believe warrant even more cuts. Lowest interest rates on record and probably uh, more rate cuts to come. Well, Michael joins us now. Michael, how many of the banks have passed on the cut? Well, Andrew, so far three of the big four have moved. The NAB, Westpac and the Commonwealth Bank have all passed on the full 0.25 of 1% cut. And they've been joined by smaller lenders, St George and the Bank of Queensland. As for the ANZ, well, it announces its interest rate decision on the second Friday of every month. So we should know in three days' time whether its customers will benefit as well. All right, Michael, thank you.